Well, hello, friends. It is so good again to see you this week. Thank you so much for joining me, Pastor Zach, for this week's children's sermon. I'm not on the road this week. I'm back in the church, our beautiful stained glass. Uh, it has just been such a great uh, week with weather. I hope you've been able to get out and maybe get outside. It's been on the it's been more springy than summer this week. Uh, but <clears throat> again, uh, things are blooming which might mean your allergies are acting up, that the pollen is going crazy, but that means the bees are flurrying and all good things that creation is doing something new. Creation is rejoicing and blooming for which we give thanks. Friends, I just want you to find that comfortable spot, whether that's right where you are, if that's in your house, if that's outside, and just to pause for just a few minutes with me to hear what God is up to this week. Once you get there, let's take a deep breath in and a deep breath out together. Ready? One, two, three, in. Hold it and out. It's a reminder that God fills us with the breath of life, that each day is a gift. Each day ought to be used to bring glory to God to worship him, to praise him, and give God thanks for all that God has done for us. So friends, when growing up, were you ever the line leader? Was that a position that, you know, at the beginning of the week you could put on in elementary school? Were you a line leader? Cool. I think I, <clears throat> I, I was too. And line leader always was like the best job, right? Because that meant you got to be first. You got to be the one up by the teacher. You got to take the take your classmates out of out of the class and then to gym or to a different to a different class. And there was kind of this awesome feeling, right? It was this cool thing to be the leader. And I think it is cool to be the leader. And we never really give thought to the ones who follow. But our reading this week from John's Gospel, which I'll, I'm about to read, tells us that we are actually never the line leader. That we already have a line leader who is Jesus. And Jesus is the one leading us in our life to, to mercy and goodness, to life and love, to forgiveness and reconciliation. Jesus is the one who brings us together. And let me read a little story for us. It comes from John chapter 10. <clears throat> Jesus says, Very truly I tell you, anyone who's who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will, from, they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them. But they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Friends, it's kind of weird that Jesus says that he is the gate. And then he's the gate, but he's also the shepherd. And see, in the story that John tells us, the shepherd is the one who makes sure the sheep follow. The shepherd is the one always out front, surveying what might be dangerous, Surveying what is coming ahead, making sure that we are all together. And that's exactly 
who we are. Aren't we followers of Jesus? Don't we come to church every Sunday and to Sunday school to hear what God is up to? How might we how we might be better followers? That how we might love our neighbors more? How we can serve God better? And we think about these things, but we aren't doing it blindly because Jesus has already lived a perfect life, has lived a life of servants, servant, uh, a, a life of service and obedience and love. And Jesus has showed us that we are to eat with those who aren't like us. We are to clothe those who don't have clothes. We're supposed to welcome those who feel unwelcomed. We're supposed to give the coat, the coat off our back to those who might be cold. Jesus is calling us to be a community of love. And we do that as sheep because the shepherd shows us the way. The shepherd makes sure that as a community, we're all together centered on him, following his voice. See, the sheep know who the shepherd is because they recognize his voice. Jesus has a voice for us. It's the voice of love and forgiveness, the voice that says, you are loved, you are enough. It's the voice that says, if you are, if you are having a bad day, lean on me and I will give you rest. Friends, Jesus' voice is calling us to life and love and hope. And that's what Easter is all about, that Christ is risen, that there is new life. So when you might be having a sinus thing or allergies, I know it kind of stinks, but another way to think about it is that there is new life springing up all around us, that God is doing a new thing, that God's voice is calling out to all of creation to do something new. And if God is calling out to the new creation using God's voice, then they're listening. The plants are listening. The trees are listening. We are listening. We are listening to hear what God has in store for us because God wants us to love. God wants us to feel the love that comes from Jesus. And God wants us to share the news that Jesus is risen with all we with those we meet. That's what it means that Jesus is the good shepherd, that we follow his voice. Jesus is the one who leads us leads us through the valleys and the mountaintops and all that stuff. Jesus is there. Jesus is the one at the gate welcoming us in, saying, come on through. And how good it is that our Savior does that for us. That Jesus, crucified and risen, is among us in a new way, calling forth life and new possibilities that we might be included in this new thing. How great it is that God is doing something new. Let us pray. Shepherding God, we give you thanks that we can follow, that you lead us in right paths for your namesake, We don't know what always comes in front of us, but we know that you are with us, leading us through it. And we give you thanks for the new life you've called us to. May we continue to listen to your voice. Hear our name called out of love. We pray all this in the name of Jesus, our good shepherd. Amen. Friends, I hope you have a great rest of your week. I look forward to seeing you in church on Sunday and always for Sunday school. 
at 9.30. Friends, you are loved, you are enough. Nothing, absolutely nothing can separate you from God's love that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.